so we're examining the factors that will cause a vessel to be used by God and number one we are saying the purity of your heart and we consider the scripture let's look at it one more time I don't want you to forget that scripture not Jonah my dear media man second Chronicles 25 and verse 2 let's read it again and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord but not with a perfect heart he preached correctly from a doctrinal standpoint there was no error in what he said yet it did not produce the effect you thought would produce you wrote the book correctly theologically accurate yet the impact that should come from it did not come you sang correctly when you came on stage nothing wrong with the revelation of your song but while you were singing people were just watching you as if you were reciting a poem to yourself the power that should accompany the correctness of that activity did not follow it there's something wrong with the heart when everything is right and the result still does not come the problem is not the activity the problem is the heart let me repeat myself when everything is right your tithing is right your giving is right your everything is right and yet the result that should follow does not follow forget about the activity and go back to re-examine the state of your heart when your preaching is right theologically constructed right with power and passion yet the transformation that should follow your teaching does not follow leave the issue of the sermon and go back to examine the state of your heart many people would have experienced deliverance faster if they understood that most of the things we think are the problems in our lives and our ministries are truly not the problem it's not the problem of the elders even though it looks like eldership is the problem in the church it's not the problem of money even though it looks like money is the real problem it's not the problem of witches and wizards coming to your church to masquerade as choir members or masquerade as protocol members. That, that is not the issue. In the, you notice that in diagnosing problems, we diagnose every other thing but the heart. Why is this church not growing, for instance? I think it's because we're at a, a wrong location. No, I think it's because maybe my sermons are not correct. Maybe they are too short. Maybe they are too long. Maybe... To, to alter and we invent all kinds of skills that touch every other activity but the real problem the state of the heart the state of the heart I have had people come to meet me and say apostle I'm tired of this thing I don't know what God wants again I fasted till I'm almost feeling sick no power no revelation in the midst of the fasting and prayer i still had the dream i was trying to avoid again those spirits came as if they are not aware that i'm praying in a prayer program after three hours of praying i just wanted to take a short nap and at just that five minutes i was still in my village again what kind of what kind of 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 discouragement is this the problem is not the activity Correcting the activity without correcting your heart will only recycle your frustration. Let me say it again. Correcting the activity without correcting your heart. Hmm. And I hope you know that the Lord has a lot of things to say about the heart of man. Jeremiah 17, 9 and 10. Please give it to us. Let's see God's own diagnosis about and concerning the heart of man the bible says the heart is deceitful that means the heart is so deceitful it can deceive even its owner you who is the owner of the heart can be deceived by your own heart the heart of man is deceitful above all things he said and desperately wicked who can know it verse 10 watch how god rewards let's read one to read please I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. That means in rewarding men, in opening doors, in allocating graces, I look beyond just the zeal. 
there is something about the heart of man that I search for. The first requirement to be a vessel unto honor, to transit from a vessel of wood and clay to a vessel of silver and gold, to be like that man that the Lord is seeking for, to change nations, to change the climate of Enugu, the southeast, to be lifted as a vessel right from this place to the ends of the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, let's forget about the issue of church for one minute. Let's forget about the issue of apostle and prophet for one minute. Let's forget about the issue of intelligent ministrations for one minute. And let's allow the Lord, that great physician, to perform a surgery in our hearts. One of the worst medical cases an individual can have is cardiac arrest or anything that has to do with your heart are we together medical science will tell us that the major reason why people lose their lives is that eventually their hearts fail there are organs that fail in your body and you can still the ball can still be running but not when your heart fails leave every other thing in your body right but let your heart fail and you will die in an instant with a correct brain you will still die with feet that is healthy, you will still die. With a body that you have labored, taking it to the gym, you will still die. But there are people whose feet have been amputated and yet they are alive. There are people who have lost fingers. There are people who have lost their sense of smell, lost their sense of hearing, lost their sense of sight. There are even cases of people who have dementia. There are people who have had brain damage. And regardless what happens to them, the deterioration, provided their hearts are still pumping, there is still hope for them. When you borrow that, that means your church building can still be working properly. The chairs can still be working well. The television station still working well. You're speaking as a man of God still well. Intelligence still there. But the moment your heart is wrong, there is a spiritual cardiac arrest. And you will not understand the reason why in spite of partners, in spite of branches, in spite of everything, there is no motion, there is no progress. I am telling you that the number one key in being used by God is your heart condition. You are the first, you are the stream, you are the hunger living deep inside of me. You are the food that satisfies, you are provision for the journey of my life. are everything when you get to a point in your life where your love for Jesus becomes greater than your love for fame your love for Jesus becomes greater than your passion for anointing your love for Jesus becomes greater than your desire to be a celebrity your love for Jesus becomes greater than your ability or your desire to have ministrations to be a great person then you have gotten to that realm that rare realm in the spirit where only few men ever get to now let me tell you this nobody has the power to make his heart pure you only have the power to allow God make it pure did you hear what I said it is not within your power to make your heart pure the journey of the purification of a man's heart is equal to the journey to death. Nobody, no matter how sincere, it is not given to you to make your heart pure by yourself. You can only give God allowance and say, Father, I don't know how far this journey is going to take me, but let's begin that journey. And when you start that journey, step by step, He will begin to lead you through several processes.